Today we are going to look at lo. We have two lo in Chinese grammar. In this video, we will compare lo one and lo two first, then discuss each of them separately. Now let's start. Ta zola. The one indicates the action completed. He's gone. The action zo completed. Verb plus the one. Shu hong la. Maybe yesterday the leaves were still green, but at this moment they are red now. Lot two indicates something changed or something new happened. It always located at the end of a sentence. Sentence plus lot two. In front of lot two, it can be an adjective or a noun as well. Happy birthday! <laughs> 我今年九十岁了。he was 89 years old last year, but he's 90 now. A change. In front of lot two, it also can be a verb. When this man says 我走了, the action 走 has not even happened yet. He's going to leave later. That was not his plan before, but he changed his mind. Lot 2 indicates something is going to change. The speaker is telling his will. 爸爸呢? In this video, the girl's father has already gone. 他走了. The one indicates the completion of 走. It's a fact. Sometimes we may use both the one and the two in one sentence to show the completion. When? When there's an object in the sentence. What did Xiaoming do in the morning? We want to express three things. Ta kan shu. We have the object shu, the action kan already completed. We can say ta kan la shu la. With tu la, this is the most standard expression. But for native speakers, it's very bothering to say tu la in one sentence, we prefer to omit one of them, only keep one la. Ta kan shu la. This is the most common expression. Can we keep la one only? Like ta kan la shu. No, but we can correct it by delivering some extra information. We have two ways to give the extra information. Why is adding a clause? 他看了书,现在很累。现在很累 is the extra information. Another way is adding some information to modify the object. In this case, the object is 书。他看了汉语书。what kind of book? Chinese book. Han yu modify the object shu. Ta kan la sang xiao shi da shu. For the first two examples, no matter we omit lot two or add it, they have the same meaning. But the last example is a different case. With lot two, it means different thing. 
，他看了三个小时的书了。It means after three hours of reading, he's still reading now and will continue to read more. However, without love to, it means the action can already completed. He's not reading now, and he won't continue anymore. 三个小时 describes how long. If the information describes how much or how many, it has the same rule. 他看了两本书 and he won't read anymore. 他看了两本书了 After reading two books, he is still reading now and will keep reading. We finished the positive sentence. How about negative ones? We use may or may or to negate the one. In most cases, we don't put the and may or at the same time in the negative sentence. Like, 他没有走了 It's wrong. But there's one exception. 他三年没看书了 It has been a while that somebody hasn't done something. This is the negative format of this structure. We can also use may or may or to negate the to. 树叶没红，我今年没有九十岁。However, for verb plus the to, we use bu to negate because. Lot two here is not indicating the completion, but to show the change in someone's will. We use bu to negate the will. 我不走了 I planned to go before, but now I don't want to leave. I changed my mind and will. Last part of this section: how to make questions. We have three basic structures. One thing should be paying attention. We use 走不走 instead of 走没走 here because we are asking about someone's will. Now let's focus on the one. The one indicates completion, but not all the completed verbs need to use it. The most challenging part of the one is figuring out when we shouldn't use it. Two tips. Tip one: In one sentence, if there are several completed verbs, we usually only keep one the one and omit the rest of them to avoid wordiness. Tip two: Some special verbs shouldn't use the one. We are going to find out. What are they? 你昨天做什么了？我上午打了球，下午上了课，晚上看了电影。Grammatically, it's correct, but it's not natural because too wordy. There is an order among these three actions. Action one first, then action two, finally action three happened. It's a series of actions. It's not necessary to put the one behind each verb. Only leaving one behind the last verb is enough. 我上午打球，下午上课，晚上看了电影。Sounds much better. 我打球前在家吃了早饭。我吃早饭的时候打了电话。吃了早饭后，我去打球了。前、时候、后 are key words to lead a clause, showing the order of two actions. Both of two verbs were completed. For 前 and 时候 we shouldn't put the in the clause. But for whole sentence, we can either put the or omit it.
They are both correct. The same logic applies to the sentence with a serial verb construction. Complements of direction. La zai, la jiu, la cai structures and pivotal sentence. We will discuss them in the upcoming videos. Tip 2. Some special verbs shouldn't use the one even if the verb was already completed. 他喜欢看电影。喜欢 is a psychological verb. Psychological verbs focus more on expressing our thinking, willingness, or performance, while the one focuses more on the action. So we don't use the one in a sentence with a psychological verb. We can use the two to emphasize a change. 他现在不喜欢了. I liked watching movies before, but things have changed. I don't like it now. For the same reason, we don't use the one in a sentence with a modal verb either. 他去年想学汉语。他现在想学英语了。And we also don't use the one with a verb that cannot express action, like 是在 and 有。他十年前是医生，现在是老师了。他去年在饭店工作，现在在。医院工作了。我以前有女朋友，现在没有了。Think，觉得，认为，他以前觉得中国菜很好吃，现在觉得日本菜好吃了。The two. We've already known the two indicates change. Besides change, it also has several other meanings in different structures. Shh, bie In bie or bu structure to express don't do something. Sometimes we use verb plus l to express it's time to do something now. It's time for class. It's time to have dinner. In Yao the structure it means something will happen soon. It's also commonly used in exclamatory sentences. 中国菜太好吃了。中国菜最好吃了。中国菜好吃极了。